Hey guys, Bianca here and welcome to my channel. I will be talking about gaining back my self-confidence postpartum. But before we get started, if you haven't yet, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to get updates every time I release a new video. So, let's get started. 2020 was such a difficult year for everybody. You know, we lost some pretty amazing people and around February here in the Philippines, we experienced immense ashfall from Taal Volcano. And right after that was COVID-19. So I found out February 2020 that I was pregnant and I was pretty high risk. I had on and off spotting, which led me to be on bed rest for about two weeks. Right after I got the clearance from my doctor, that's when the government announced that we will be put on lockdown due to COVID-19. So for those of you who don't know, here in the Philippines, we've been on lockdown since March 2020. And it's already January 21 and things are still the same. So if you can imagine, I spent this entire pregnancy in quarantine, in lockdown, at home. And as if that wasn't mentally excruciating enough, you know, not being able to see your family, to see your friends, and to go to work, I was already in an immense amount of discomfort from my pregnancy symptoms. From morning sickness, I had nausea, I had back pain, leg pain, any type of pain, you name it, I had it. Now, along with those symptoms came the inevitable weight gain, the bloatedness, the stretch marks, and other changes in my body that I don't even want to mention already. So nine months of that and here we are. The heaviest I have ever been. I gained roughly about 50 to 60 pounds from my pre-pregnancy body and I look and feel like complete <laughs> So where am I going with all of this? You know, normally I wouldn't dare show myself in public looking like this, more or less on camera uploading things looking like this but do you ask yourself why society has always told us that beauty is only skin deep you always have to be flawless skinny white pretty much barbie looking like women and you know i've believed this as well for the longest time i told myself this again and again and again which is why i pretty much feel like this right now but Times are changing and we must change your mindset as well. Especially in this country where your weight is everyone's goddamn business. Hey yo, what's up? Y'all got a problem? Y'all want some of this? What, boy, what? Mind your business, David! So, how am I gaining back my self-confidence? I will do three things, basically. So the first thing is, I will understand my body. My body grew this tiny human being in it for 39 weeks. It was cut open and sewn shut. Now I'm this superhuman milking cow machine taking care of this tiny baby. It's not easy to recover from that. So I have to understand my body. I have to understand its limitations. I'm not going to rush it. And I actually had to learn this the hard way. My C-section scar opened up. Anyway, I had to learn this the hard way. Now I have to accept that I have to give my body and myself a break. I need to give my body time to heal from one hell of a year, you know, that it went through these changes. So that basically is the first thing. Understand your body. Second thing that I'm doing is I'm being kinder to myself. One thing I noticed that's pretty bad, is I'm always my biggest critic, you know? There's always telling me that you're not enough, you're too big, you're too flabby. Always the tiny voice inside my head. All these other negative things, and it's not helping. I am always the first to say the nastiest things about myself. And how can I expect myself to feel good, to feel confident, when I myself am the first person bringing myself down? I don't know how i got this mindset i don't know how i got this mindset or if you have the same mindset as well but we have to change it you have to learn to be kinder to yourself you have to give yourself words of encouragement you know i am enough i am beautiful i am confident i am a woman that don't need no man i'm just kidding i only need one man but you know what i mean so please 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 be kinder to yourself if we're not going to be kind to ourselves who will be 
Last and definitely not the least is take no Take no I am done with people entitled enough to feel that they can have an opinion on my body. I am done with all of these fat shamers, all of these aunts and uncles and cousins, every family reunion who tell you that. Enough! I'm done! I swear to you, if you say anything about my weight, if I hear you comment on my weight, especially to my face, I will eat you alive. Eat you alive. So yeah, those are the three things I'm doing to gain back my self-confidence. I will understand my body, I will be kinder to myself, and I will take no in line with this, of course, I am still doing all the necessary things that I have to do to be healthy. I am minding my diet, my exercise routine to make sure that I live a healthy lifestyle. I want to be here for my kids. I want to be here for my husband and for my whole family. So it's still at the top of my list. Don't get me wrong. So in order for me to get back to that, I will be doing a series of fitness challenges here on YouTube. I will be starting with a seven day jump rope challenge, which I will be uploading as soon as I'm finished doing it. So please watch out for that. And if you have any comments on any fitness challenges that you would want to see me do, please comment them down below. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you here again soon. And please don't forget to click that subscribe button. See you soon. Bye!